Welcome. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you just how to use and modify sliders in GeoGebra. So once you're in GeoGebra, um, go ahead and go to Classic. Now you can create sliders right here, or um, I'm going to show you how to do it in 3D graphics, but um, sliders are super easy to create here. You'd click, you know, this button for slider and tap and you get a slider and you can change the minimum and maximum value. And that's really helpful. So your slider goes from more than negative five to five, and you can also have an increment say you want it to increment every half unit, and that'll get you a slider. But what I really want to show you is um, the view of creating a slider in 3D graphics view. I'm not going to adjust the axes to the plane like I normally do. So I'm just going to type in the letter A here and I get a slider right there. And if I want to change anything about it, I'm going to click on it, find these three dots here, go to settings. And under settings, there is slider. And you can change a ton about it. Um, for now, I'll play around with that independently. Right now, I'm just going to show you how to do the slider increments. I want the slider to go from 50 to 12. Let's just say from 50 to 12. And I want my increments to be uh, by, actually, my increments to be by two units instead of um, a decimal unit. So then if you notice, if I go up here to 12 and I move it down one, it'll give me 10 and so on. And that's my slider which is really cool because if I want to do something like z equals x squared, oops, x squared over a plus y squared over, say, 9. There it is. Um, I can now use my slider to move this around and see what it does to my curve. I can go ahead and find the 3D rotate graphics view, and there it is. There is my Pringle my hyperbolic paraboloid. I hope you found this video helpful.